So when a girl flakes on you, what kind of attitude and what kind of vibe should you be giving off when you're handling that conversation? Watch this video for the answer. So one big mistake that guys make when girls are flaking on them is they start to make the girl feel guilty for flaking on them because maybe he made reservations, maybe he bought tickets for something. You know, whatever the case is, the guy starts to make the girl feel bad and she might just be testing him. She might actually not even be flaking. It might just be a test, okay? But the guy messes up and he gives her negative vibes. This is really, really bad because a guy that goes out all the time and you know has lots of options with women, he's never gonna make a girl feel bad for canceling because he probably has another date set probably the very next day. And women are subconsciously feeling out you know, what your status level is, what your options are. And if you're subcommunicating that you're not really a higher value guy, okay, by making the girl feel, um, you know, guilty for canceling, um, you know, she's going to pick up on that. So you don't want to seem butthurt. The next thing is you don't want to like let her mess with the plans and kind of jerk you all around. You don't want to bend over backwards for this stranger because that also is subcommunicating that you don't really have options and you'll do anything just to meet this one girl out. So generally speaking, my tone of voice is going to be like, oh, hey, sorry that that happened to you. Sorry that you had to cancel for whatever reason. Um, you know, is there a time that works better for you? And I'm going to kick back and see, you know, if that girl, you know, gives me her availability. If it is, then everything's all good. Nothing's happened. I'm not upset. We'll just see each other on another day. Now, if she flakes again, I'm probably not even going to respond to the message. So uh, we set that second day. She flakes again and she's like, oh, hey, sorry, my my uh, grandma died or whatever. I'm just not even going to respond and I'm not going to reach out to her again. So if she finally hits me back, I'm going to be short. I'm not going to sound butthurt, but I'm not going to put a lot of effort into that because that girl has communicated to me that I'm not worth her effort. Right. So I'm not going to take her too seriously at that point. But even if I'm being a little bit shorter and or even if I'm removing my attention from that girl, I'm going to take care to never, ever seem butthurt. I'm never going to make it seem like I'm negatively affected because my life is too good. Some stranger can't ruin my life. I'm not going to be mad. OK, and that's the headspace that you want to be in. Now, again, one of the best ways to be in a really good headspace around women, like nobody can throw you off course, is to be dating multiple women. And the best way to date multiple women is to always have new conversations going every single day, which means that you're going to be on dating apps. You're going to have a good photo shoot, which gets you matches. OK, and you're also going to be using social media as a dating platform by randomly friend requesting friends and sending out video messages. Now, guys, if you want help with this kind of thing, click on my profile, click the link in my profile. And there's several options for working with me and I will guide you through this process. So you'll never have to sweat a flake again.